Okay, now I'd be very <coughs> interested to know what you think about this. It was a crime that shocked the nation when nine-year-old Shannon Matthews disappeared. This was eight years ago. Her distraught mother, Karen, won public sympathy when she made lots of tearful appeals on television, begging for her daughter's return. Our hearts were breaking for her. What none of us knew at the time was that Karen herself, alongside her then boyfriend, had kept Shannon hostage, that she was drugged, she was tethered, she was hidden under the bed. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. and, and they did all that because they wanted to claim the reward money that had been put up for her safe return. Well, um, she's now been freed from her prison sentence. She only served half of those eight years. Uh, and she's now seeking forgiveness after apparently turning her life around, she says. So does she deserve a second chance? Oh. No. Do you We're remember? Absolutely resounding, though, with this do, audience. Do you remember? Because it was it was about a month, wasn't it? I mean, it was just it was just thing. constant, yeah. wasn't it? And we were all heartbroken for her and so worried, and the community mm. got behind her, like you know, unbelievably. And and I don't know if it, if you remember, do you remember she tied it in with the Madeleine McCann story? Mm. And obviously she was trying to get that sort of well, I mean, one assumes mm. she was trying to get that sort of level of money offered. I mean, just just watching it there again, I mean, I'd forgotten how believable she was mm. and apparently I believe that I heard that right at the very beginning the police were suspicious the liaison mm. officers that moved I think I remember reading the mm. liaison officers that actually moved in with the family and were just watching her and I think we just all felt I mean just I remember the day when they found her and she was under that bed and she'd been given this list of how to behave mm. she was allowed to watch videos but she had to be quiet she was you know bags of crisps I mean what that poor child must have endured we, we can't even imagine the fear. And then, and then when she was found, uh, she, she blamed the other guy the whole time, didn't she? You know, well, she said the it was her boyfriend at the time, and there was the uncle, wasn't yeah. there, who actually, who's flat, because yeah. she was found in his flat. And the idea was that they would eventually set her free and then find her and claim and the reward. Yeah. I mean, and apparently now she's, she's, get away she's, with she's, that. she says she's found God and she's given up drink. And she, she, every time she goes out, she's threatened to be beaten up. And, you know, part of me just goes, well, bring it on, you know, because I just think of the children and, and what we heard at the time about what a difficult life they'd all had. But what um, about rehabilitation? You can't just throw someone to the wolves, can you? I mean, she has said she feels that she's a different person now. She says that she was very influenced by her boyfriend, mm -hmm. who she feels she was in a controlling relationship. She stopped drinking. She's found religion. She's, and she's saying, you know, I am very, very sorry for what I've done. Um, well, yeah, you that's think, the trouble, you know, isn't it? She, other, I mean, without part. sounding unsympathetic, I mean, she didn't... The child wasn't murdered. Yeah, the child wasn't prostituted out or... You know, my, she yeah. was... She was held against her will, but I think, you know, she wasn't harmed mm. yeah, physically see, this harmed. Is my, this, is my, this is my issue with it, is that I just heard about this this week, I was reading about this week, because I wasn't in the UK mm. when this happened, and obviously, just hearing about it, it's it's so disgusting to me. I'm, I'm definitely seeing it in a black and white scenario, and I know there's other angles to see it, but it makes me sick to my stomach that this woman did this and served half her time and is out. And for me, I believe in redemption. I believe in rehabilitation. But the thing that really struck me was she said, well, I haven't done the worst thing in the world. I haven't killed her. Yeah. And I just think, well, then you've missed mm. the whole point. If you think you haven't done the worst thing in the world by not yeah. killing her, then you, you haven't had rehabilitation. You don't get it. But do you, believe, but do you believe then she should be punished for the rest of her life? I mean, she served her, you know, her jail sentence. She's now out. And she said she is being constantly harassed when people, re you know, recognise her. I think she's moved a few times. But when word gets out, it's she's a, had fireworks it, thrown at her. She's had people kind of, you know, putting yeah, awful you, things through her letterbox. Yeah, and you can understand it from those people's point of view. You know, they will always see her as this monster that did that to her child. And, and as a parent, you can't ever imagine even whatever the circumstances, doing that to your own child. And I would have probably been one of those people, except recently, or a few months ago, I was asked, would I like to go um, <coughs> to visit prison for the day? And it was a woman's prison. And, um, and you know, there is that part of you that goes, oh, yeah, that'd be really interesting, and I was scared, and who am I going to meet, and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I went into this prison, and I have to say... It was style prison, actually, and they, they all, oh, we watch you on loose, and it was really <laughs> weird. So, hello, girls. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I went in there, and it was extraordinary, um, the idea of prison that I had compared to what was in there. Some people would go, well, that's not prison, it's not a... Um, uh, it's not a deterrent because they've got every... 
do you know what they did have everything in there they had it they had an education something that most of them had never had oh, that's they good. get supplied an education they get yeah. trained um to do you know a, apprentice mm -hmm. apprenticeship um, they get trained to cook. They get to all these different skills that all of a sudden these and women they have get to buy trained. things. Don't they? And so they manage they their money. They have to do those jobs to earn the money to pay for their own mm. food and toiletries mm. that they wanted. And although some people are saying, "Yeah, but it's still too cushy," you know, these people, these women, are going to be released. Yes, There's no yeah. point in not so giving them all that. And they've got plenty of time. Go out. If you thought that got heated, wait until you watch these and click here to subscribe. You may as well. It's totally free.